it's you. I thought we were being burgled. Where is it? Where's what? The other day, I wrote down a list of all Thorne's private members' clubs on a piece of paper, Tracy. I left it right there. Oh, that... Sorry, I threw that away. What did you do that for? It took me ages to find all them. Well, what were you going to do, Peter? Join all of them? I was going to drive around till I found him. Then I was going to drag him out into the car park and introduce him to the crowbar in my boot. A car park full of witnesses that also happened to be his mates? I just wanted to scare the truth out of him, that's all. Did he give you a dodgy brain transplant at the same time or something? <sighs> what other option do I have? Well, you can not get yourself arrested for a start. Well, I've got to do summer. I mean, what do you think I should do? This can't be happening. My brother asking me for advice. I'm desperate. Do you want my help or what? Look, Tracy, put yourself in my shoes here, OK? Oh, no, thanks. Not without a Veruca sock. Look, I'm serious. You've had a transplant. Now, how would you feel if somebody's looking through your medical notes like a racing form? Yeah, and I get that, but... Right. I just think you need to accept that he's won. Thanks. Great advice. Well, this is what he wants, Peter. He wants you looking like a thug and him looking like the poor, beaten-up doctor. But forcing him to tell the truth, that's the only way it's going to come out. It's not about the truth. It's about how it would look. Right. Oh. Well, actually, there is something you could do. Go on. Well, from what you tell me about this bloke, it's all about appearances, right? Oh, yeah. So that's where you've got to hit him. OK. I just don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. I was lucky with the next person, they might not get off that operating table alive. OK, yeah. Listen, hey, I hope it makes a difference. Thanks, bye. Debating coming over, but I, I just couldn't wait. What do you want? Um, on the one hand, thinking of you, picking up the paper in the morning, only to be disappointed. That would have been nice, but I really wanted to see your face. What are you talking about? The editor of the Gazette called me. Uh, we played tennis together. Apparently, one of his reporters received a call from an alcoholic taxi driver making spurious claims about yours truly. I don't know anything about it, sorry. No, no, neither with anybody else. Um, they're not going to run the story, of course. What is it you want, Peter? I want the world to know what an arrogant <laughs> piece of work you are. Arrogant is just a word that your sort used to describe someone they can't understand. You put people's lives in danger. And quite the opposite. I saved yours. That's your job. Having a bet on the side isn't. Yeah, it really makes me laugh. Thinking of you trying to wrap your tiny little brain around what it takes to do what I do. I'll tell you what I do understand. Without your job, you're nothing. And when I'm finished with you, there won't be a hospital in this world that will take a punt on you. And that's a promise. Oh, Aggie. Have you heard Thor's moving to America? He's got some big fancy job. Yeah, I know I heard. Yeah, well, he came to see me earlier. Did he? Well, what for? Not to apologise. Well, him apologise, no chance. No, he was gloating. <laughs> what about? Well, look, I tried to put the press on to him, but he got the story stopped because he plays tennis with the editor. What, you come to the papers? Well, it was just the Gazette, but yeah. You didn't tell them about me, did you? No, 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 of course not. Hey, this, this is my battle. Well, I never meant for it to be a battle. Look, well, he started the war, not us. So it's a war now, is it? Yeah, and I need some ammo. What do you mean? Well, you know, I need some dirt on him. I think if you've got any patients' names or nurses... Oh, no, I can't do I, that. Aggie, Aggie, look, I, I'll keep you out of it, right? I'll call. It's fine. It's confidential information. No, it's completely out of the question. But we, we've got to stop him from doing this again. You know, somebody might die, somebody... No! I'm sorry, Peter.
I can tell when something's wrong, so come on, out with it. It's Peter Barlow. I knew it. You're having a little fair. No. Oh, don't be daft. I'm not in the mood for your jokes. Sorry. He's been banging on about Thorne. He accosted me in the street earlier. He wanted me to help him. Well, I don't see why you don't. That Thorne's a bully. Treated you like dirt and others. I've already said too much. I'm telling Peter about what happened. I don't want to get the sack. Well, I understand that, but Aggie... Sometimes you just have to make a stand. Yeah, they'll give you grief for it. Don't mean you shouldn't do it. Come on to mine, missus. I'll ruin you. Do you think you're better than the rest of us, do you? No, 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 no. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Hey! I've been looking for you. What, are you talking to yourself? Yeah, I just, uh, having an argument in my head. Oh, no prizes for guessing who you win. That's winding me up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Thor's just going to get away with it. He's going to move to America and he's going to make a fortune while he's at it. And there's nothing I can do. Well, well, maybe there is. Yeah? Yeah, well, I had to think after I spoke to you this morning. Yeah, yeah listen, Aggie, I, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I shouldn't have badgered you like that. None of this is your fault. Yeah, well, technically it is. Well, I told you about Thorn in the first place. Uh, I'm glad you did. I just couldn't risk losing my job to give you what you wanted. No, no, I understand. I'm sorry. But I, uh, I made a few phone calls and uh, I wanted to give you this. Trisha. So sorry I'm late. No, I, I, I thought you'd change your mind. No, I just got caught up saving someone's life. You know how it is. Yes, yes, of course. Sorry. Um, is everything OK? A lot of blood, but they'll live. So, you want to talk about Mr Thorne, then, do you? If that's OK, yeah. Yeah. I should have said something ages ago, but I was too scared. Do you know what? I'm not surprised, because he's a bully. When you and Aggie came forward, though, I knew I needed to do something. Back you up. He can't keep getting away with the stuff he does. No. Pedro Barlow, nice of you to pop in. What can I get you? No, I'm fine. I just apart for my lawyer. No, 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 thank you. I clocked off an hour ago. I've got orders that he's not to be disturbed under any circumstances. It's fine. I'm family. Family was top of the list. Seriously, I haven't got the space for whatever it is you want. Something happened? <sighs> Nothing you need to know about. Well, listen, I've got some good news. Well, for me, but very bad news for Thorne. Not this again. I thought you were going to leave it. No, no. Listen, I've done some digging. I've found some treasure. Evidence of his malpractice. What sort of evidence? I've spoken to a nurse who works on his old ward, and she has got plenty of things to say about him. And she thinks she can get others to come forward. OK, sounds hopeful. I think we've got him. You sure you want to do this? You can still get charged for your assault. More important, we stop him before he kills somebody, right? Fine. I'll contact the General Medical Council tomorrow. Get the ball rolling. Now, I'll have that pint now, please, if that's OK with you. 